Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to a FIFA 18 sniping reactions video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Normally we go for special cards such as Team of the Week items. Today instead we're going to be going for some of the highest rated cards on the game. Now this is not something that I'd recommend that you guys do to make coins because realistically these cards don't come on the market too frequently. But it's going to be interesting to see what sort of snipes that I can get. So if you guys do enjoy, it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 likes. Of course, as you guys all know by now, every like does Penguin Home. We're going to be starting off with someone like Neymar, maybe doing a bit of Luis Suarez. I don't believe that Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi are going to be too easy to snipe. So maybe we'll leave them for a future video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think that I should go for those cards. But other than that, we'll go straight into these sniping clips. Super excited to see who we can get, and hopefully you guys enjoy. <gasps> no way! Oh my god! Has... Oh my days! I can't believe I've just got that! 92 rated Neymar, guys! No, this is ludicrous. I actually just got a min price Neymar snipe. 21 and a half thousand coins. He is selling for around 245k. I can't believe I've just got this snipe. Literally 30 seconds in on this filter as well. I have not been going after this card for long at all. I did actually start off trying to get a Luis Suarez. Couldn't get him. Just moved over onto Neymar. 92 rated. Left forward for PSG. And I've just got him for minimum price. After EA tax, this is 200k profit. Genuinely one of the best snipes of the year. What? I can't believe that has just happened. Like, still, I'm in a bit of a state of shock right now. A min price, Neymar, and I actually go ahead and get him. Bang on the one-hour mark. Sniper mechanics on point. Maybe there was competition. Maybe I was just too quick for it. I have no idea. I can't believe we've just started off the episode. Very first snipe as a min price. 92 rate overall, Neymar. <gasps> Do you know what? Again, guys, this is another very good snipe here. We've got Paul Pogba, 150k. I know it's not a min price snipe like the previous one, but trust me, the chance of getting that were just so slim, I was not expecting it at all. Paul Pogba does actually have an upgrade as well, by the way, guys, at 88 rated overall. So if you do actually snipe on this filter, there is still a chance of getting his upgrade, which would sell on for even more profit. But here, after EA tax, easy 10,000 coins. Obviously, with him selling on for around 168k, there is a... Fair amount of EA tax to add on because 5% of that does equate to quite a few thousand coins. Nevertheless though, still made some pretty decent profits. I know like I mentioned again, not quite a min price snipe, but the chance of getting that were just so ludicrously slim. I still can't believe that we actually got the name off. Again though, a very nice pick up here on Paul Pogba. Wait, I'm, a I'm actually so confused. What is happening today? 89 rated Kevin De Bruyne. 80,000 coins. That was a lazy snipe. I didn't even have to be quick on that. That was on the market for 10 seconds. As I was saying earlier on as well, not too sure how much competition there is actually on these filters. Evidently none. Because this 89 rated Kevin De Bruyne was on the market for 10 seconds at over 10,000 coins under. We just managed to pick him up at 80k. I can't believe... That is actually so confusing that's just happened. Why is no one else trying to snipe this card? And additionally, guys, similarly to Paul Pogba, he does in fact have an upgrade to 91 overall. So if you are going to try and snipe this card, potential to see the higher rated variant as well. That is actually like one of the best lazy snipes of the year. I'm still so confused how we just managed to get that card at such a decent amount under. I'm so confused. Why did that take so long to load up? A Chris Wood at 11,500. Only one hour mark and it literally took a couple of se seconds for the set to even appear. This is so... I mean, I, I'm not going to complain at the end of the day. We have managed to get ourselves a Premier League special item at 11,500 coins. Guys, after sniping some of the highest rated cards on the game, I've decided to go over onto a filter which you guys can easily replicate. And it's going to be Premier League informs at around 11,500 by it now. We've already got one in Chris Wood, 81 rated overall. I don't know how I actually saw that on the one hour mark considering it took us a while to load in. But I'm not going to complain, as this is the first snipe on this filter. And all these cards sell for around 13,000 coins at the minimum. Unfortunately, Chris Wood is one of the cheaper variants. But we've still got potential to see a lot of higher rated cards as well. Because, obviously, plenty of Premier League informs throughout the year. And you never know, 
replicating what happened on the Neymar filter, someone again might list up one of the more expensive cards for minimum price. Do you know what? Again, I'm not going to complain about that at all. A Tompkins this time around, 10,000 coins. That is close to its minimum price. 81 rate though for all, and as did previously mention, all these cards selling on for around 13,000 coins. So, after EA tax, an easy 2.3k maybe after this card, maybe even a little bit more. Do you know what? I'm not going to complain about that considering it's just easy money at this stage. As did mention, you have got the potential to make a lot of coins from some other snipes in case someone maybe min lists a card by accident. But nonetheless, all these little ones do add up for around 2,500 coins each time. So, again, 81 rated, going to have no problem selling them onto the market, especially with the current SPCs. We'll carry on going along this filter and hopefully get some luck and maybe see some of the more expensive items. <gasps> oh my days! How have I going to miss this? The f oh my... The first miss of the episode is that going to be an 82 rated Jesse Lingard. 40k. 40k again. Guys, what have I done? What have I actually done? That was such a shocking miss. I can't believe for 11,500 coins just missed Jesse Lingard. Again, I'm assuming that's going to be his minimum price. I can't believe I've done that. I was literally just saying as well it would be nice to see some of the more expensive cards from this filter. We have our chance. That was our moment to shine. And I go ahead and miss one. This filter is incredible though. By, by the way, guys, you should definitely replicate it. As you can see here, very easy to set up. And again, you have the potential to see cards like that Lingard, who would have sold on for some very nice profit. Not quite on the level of Neymar. Let's be honest, that's not going to happen every day. But the chance to get Lingards and then also some other special items, which probably will sell on for a lot of coins using this filter, I do believe will be a little bit more productive so you guys should definitely hit it up tweet me send me some pictures if you do get some insane snipes but unfortunately the biggest one of the episode so far in this filter and we go ahead and miss it oh my lord honestly i completely forgot team of the group stage right daily blind 83 rated all right let's see what he is gonna go for 26 i mean thought that's obviously not gonna sell Probably around 20,000 coins, but considering that we just picked them up at 10,500, which is min price as well, as you guys can see, this is crazy. I mean, again, I, I did not expect to see the Team of the Group stage cards on this filter. Completely forgot they were even an item on the game, to be honest. So to get one of them at min price, and we'll probably make around like maybe 13,000 coin profit when we do sell on this card. That's going to be pretty nice, you know. As I said, it all adds up, and obviously this filter being incredibly active, when you do get cards like this, it definitely increases the lump sum of the profit within the space of an hour. So a very nice pick up here. Team the group stage card, definitely not expecting that, but I'll happily take it. Do you know what? Sniping mechanics on point there, guys, to get an 11,500 coin James Ward Prowse. It's not even his min price. So that is a very confusing item listing. 19,750 it looks like he's going to be selling for. So at the end of the day, to get him at 11,500 coins, again, another nice pickup. After EA tax, easy 6,500 coins, probably even a little bit more. Like I said, we're actually starting to see some of the higher rated cards on this filter now. Originally started up with some of the cheaper variants, such as Chris Wood and Tompkins from Crystal Palace. But since then, we've had some pretty nice cards in all fairness. James Wood Prowse here, another example of that who will actually be able to sell on for some pretty decent profit. Min price, Christian Atsu. Do you know what? I'll take that. He's been transferred as well to a left forward position. Is it going to affect his price too much? Maybe not. But I mean, he's selling on for around 20,000 coins. Yeah, we'll take that. At the end of the day, it is doubling what we paid for him. So 10,000 coin profit. I'm actually happy with how this filter has gone, to be fair, guys. We've seen a large variant of cards. Honestly, when we started off with Chris Wood and Tompkins, who are now actually our cheaper variants, I thought that this build was just going to be cluttered with those players. However, the likes of Atsu, James Ward-Prowse, Daily Blind, Lingard, it's actually been a large variety of players. So, to see, again, another card here in Atsu, going for minimum price, it is actually very encouraging for this filter, and you guys should definitely go check it out. Anyway though guys, we're actually going to leave it here. This has definitely been one of my better sniping reactions videos throughout the year. Obviously I've had icon specials which are 
just incredibly rare to come across, but we managed to get ourselves a Min Price, 92 rated overall Neymar. Now, probably one of my better snipes of the year. Of course, did manage to get myself um, a Matthias at Min Price, or close to anyway. Missed a couple of icons at their minimum price. So, to finally get a little bit of redemption on the Neymar, which we made an incredible amount of profit off, was very nice. What I'll do now, guys, whilst I'm doing this outro, because unfortunately it does bring us to the end, is actually show the transfer list and um, let you guys see that we did in fact sell on all the cards and make an incredible amount of profit in this episode. But if you guys have enjoyed, it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 likes. Of course, as you guys all know by now, every like does compare home, so let's see if we can reach that goal. But as I did previously mention, unfortunately it does bring us to the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you next time.